this is for the person that was asking me how to install global menu a uh, global menu is a Mac type of menu where everything is up top okay let me show you examples of what I'm talking about say you have a folder right and in your folder it used to be up top here right you know the file edit and stuff however we removed it and put it up here so everything that used to be there is now up here right and it just depends on which uh, window is uh, or which program is focused if you switch to um, something else like WinFF see now the options are WinFF only okay uh, same thing with uh, you know anything else it should be globally like all your uh, programs on your machine however there are some programs that doesn't work with this as I'm talking about this right now is Firefox and uh, open office okay so those are the two that I know of right now but in the future it might get fixed so I don't know okay so how to get it and up and running and stuff like that right so that's what we're gonna do uh, first you have to go and add the repositories okay and you go to their website and just pick which um, you know distribution that you're using uh, and follow the steps if you are on Ubuntu and copy paste you know this put it in your source list and if, as for the key put that in your the key too hopefully you guys know how to do that okay and you can also install it by uh, terminal if you like or if you don't like that you can always use the uh, synaptic after you add it in okay in your synaptic uh, search for global menu and there you go, install that one. <coughs> now, after you have it uh, installed, uh, since it's an applet, you have to uh, add it to your panel. Okay, so you go up somewhere in your top panel and you know click Add to Panel, right? And you're gonna look for something called Global Menu App. See this one, right? And you're gonna drag that one out. You know, click on it and drag it. In drop it up top that's all you really gotta do and it should uh, be there after you you're done so you're not done, you have something like this right uh, however you have to um, you know edit some changes in here so you right click on it and preference and the first thing you want to enable is the global menu for all applications in the GTK right so that's what you have to do and uh, this will you know remove all the the menus from all your programs and just put it up in the menu up here okay and you can do other stuff like this but this is what I have right now checked it only but you can try the other ones if you like okay so that's how you do that uh, you also might want to uh, blend your panel with uh, the global menu right so to do that just uh, anywhere in your panel um, go to properties, right? And you can, you know, go to the background and change the slider here to your liking, and it should blend it. Uh, you know, give it a little bit of transparency. Okay. Uh, also, if you want the icon only, right? All you do is uh, right-click on the icon and let's see preference. And in the preference, uh, there's the main button this is on mint I'm not sure it's the same thing as, as Ubuntu but uh, you can change it used to say menu here right so it used to say menu like this but if you delete it it'll look better I guess and then all you gotta do is uh, move it close to the the icon I you know right click on this and move right I don't, this is pretty weird let me go move it again. There we go. Now it looks slick. See? So um, that's how you get that up and working um, to your liking. And you would move all your icons over here, you know. So it's out of your way over there. Uh, so that's how you do it. Um, I'm not sure if I like it because uh, it's kind of it looks kind of annoying as of right now. You know, you have to. Uh, click on this shit and then you go up here and click 
and then you click on something else and then you go up here and look at the menus um, I don't know how people deal with that I might try it out see if I like it see you have to go up and do all that so that looks annoying to me as of right now okay but for the person that wants to do this uh, there you go that's how you uh, get it up and working uh, it's understandable because um, the applets you you think it's in the the menus but it's actually in the add panel right you know you have to add to panel uh, so that's how it's done